you must be hearing terms like git github gitlab bitbucket etc they all sound similar but they are actually different in a lot of ways in this video we'll briefly understand each one of them in detail so that it will help you decide which one you can start learning today and also help you with interview questions as well now i'm going to assume that you know nothing about git or github and so i'm not going to use any kind of technical terms in this video which you might not be familiar with at this point in time i'm literally going to assume that you are a cave man or a cave woman and proceed accordingly let's first start with git git is originally designed to manage or maintain the source code history which makes it easy to perform tasks like being able to undo or retrieve changes or code changes being able to save your current ongoing work just as you would save a game for instance take a look at all the historical changes and do something with them or being able to make changes in a manner that does not have impact on the rest of the code or the rest of the functionality of your application and a lot of such tasks obviously it is much more than that but i'd like to keep it very simple for this video coming to github github can pretty much do everything what git can do plus a lot more github is more of a code hosting platform on web whereas git is a version control system that is installed on a local computer simply put if you are a freelancer working all alone on a project like a small web application then installing git to maintain the historical changes might just suffice but if you have more than one developer or a team of developers contributing to the same code base then in addition to having git installed on each one of the developers computer you also need a centralized repository or a code hosting platform like github so that everyone can contribute to the centralized code repository to do a variety of things like being able to manage release cycles or to track the issues or administering the users and their roles or having to maintain the backup of the entire code base or having restrictions or putting restrictions as to who can do what on the code base or who can contribute to what parts of the code and a host of other administrative tasks like that simply put while git allows an individual to maintain historical changes in the local computer github allows a team of developers contribute their code to the centralized web based repository where admins can manage the teams and their contributions a typical developer uses git to introduce changes in the code and then eventually push all those changes to the centralized repository like github for other team members to download and use their code and every other developer does the same since i've decided not to use any technical terms here i guess that's all for now if you want to get started with git check out my free tutorial on youtube link is in the description below now let's talk about the other two gitlab and bitbucket gitlab github and bitbucket does the exact same job which is to maintain the code in the centralized repository but there are certain pros and cons for each and depending on your situation and your organization needs you need to choose one of them there is no best one as such you need to choose the one that fits your project needs for example if you're using mercurial instead of git version control system then bitbucket might be a better option gitlab is feature rich and is really good with ui but compromises a little bit on the performance aspect github on the other hand is the most popular one amongst all with over 38 million projects relying on it its ui is minimalistic and offer better performance so there is no clear cut answer as to which one is better it depends on your project and your organization goals you can learn any one of them and it shouldn't be hard to learn the other in fact they work exactly the same way and even the commands used are same okay that's all for the video you can check the git youtube tutorial using the link in the description or if you want to take your git and github skills to next level and add this new skill into your portfolio or to your resume you can learn git and github as a 12 hour long course without ads or distractions check the details in the description hope you've enjoyed watching this have a wonderful day ahead